Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison said on Monday that the government would reconsider its plan to reopen its borders to skilled migrants and students starting December 1st. Officials issued a 14-day quarantine for individuals returning from nine African nations after two landed in Sydney on Sunday. Morrison said it was too early to reintroduce a two-week hotel quarantine for foreign visitors, encouraging people to be calm as the Omicron strain's severity, transmissibility and vaccination resistance were yet unknown. That's why we're doing it one step at a time, Morrison told Nine News. The WHO has declared Omicron a variant of concern. Experts are unsure whether it will induce more or less COVID-19 than other strains. On Monday, Morrison said the National Security Committee would discuss the border reopening measures. He said all states and territory leaders would meet by Tuesday. Canada's Immunization Advisory Board has been urged to consider the time range for COVID-19 booster doses. Vaccination rates in Australia are higher than in US, UK and many Western European nations. We'll get the best information, we'll work together, we'll make sensible, practical, balanced decisions. And my, my key message to people is just to remain calm, do what you're doing, uh, follow all the same usual procedures, get your booster shot, get your second vaccine. Over the last 24 hours, we had uh, 141 people from those nine affected countries come in. Uh, there are two, possibly three positive cases. Uh, those uh, 141 uh, travellers on five flights over the last uh, 24 hours are in our health quarantine uh, facility. But ultimately, as I said yesterday, uh, we don't just need to learn to live alongside COVID, we need to learn to live alongside the variants as well. Three persons from Southern Africa arrived in New South Wales on Sunday and tested positive for COVID-19. With genomic sequencing ongoing to determine whether they were infected with the Omicron stain. The new variety arose after Sydney and Melbourne, Australia's main cities, opened their borders to vaccinated foreigners on November 1st, after closing them for almost 18 months. To avoid a 72-hour quarantine, both cities have increased travel restrictions. Difficulties in vaccination rates have kept certain nations from welcoming international visitors. A total of 209,000 coronavirus illnesses and 1,997 fatalities have been reported in Australia.